Hey, it's Shine Like Wine Dash Dudes.com. Not really. Cloudy wine. I'm not come. really sure what the heck this is. I get into my you know car, I come over here, and he's poured hey, you gotta taste this. But no, seriously folks, uh, Mike's uh, making a little mead here and he said, Let's taste it. I know it's not exactly finished. Yep. But since I've made some meads in my time, um, it's probably a good thing to check in and get my opinion about how this mead is progressing. This is Ask the Experts. <laughs> um, so I have this mead going. It's mm. been going for about three or four weeks. Um, the bulk of fermentation seems to have slowed down. Uh, I just did another degassing last night. I just tasted it. There's obviously a little bit of gas still in there. A little wine charm. A little, some wine charms. Um, <laughs> Notice that until just now. It's we're running out of tasting glasses. I didn't want to <laughs> stick your nose into a, a glass of wine there. Well, so, no one's going to take my mead. I've got the, the butterfly there. So this baby started at 1.120. It was about, um, if I remember right, like 15 pounds of, of honey. Uh, the bulk of that was orange blossom honey. Um, my original goal plan for this wine, uh, mead rather, <laughs> was once it gets to, once it's done, I want to rack it to a new fermenter. I want to actually rest it on some orange peel. I really want to make like the orange pop. Um, but at this point, you know, so I used the yeast nutrient. I've done the DAP for made O and I've degassed it every other day for the first like five or six days that it was fermenting. Um, it's right now the gravity is about 10, 25 ish, 10, yeah, 28 ish. Sounds about right. It's still pretty sweet, but it started out pretty high. So I just figured it'd be fun to, uh, I mean, it's actually, I'm seeing some legs on here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's still <laughs> cloudy. I mean, it's got a, it still has to yeah. finish up and, and rest out. The yeast I used was uh, Lavalin 71B. B. Yes. Is that what you used? Mm. Oh, good. So, um, so anyway, what do, you, like what, what do you think about where it's at? This is midstream. I, um, think, I think that it tastes great for three to four weeks. Really? Well, oh, I mean, that's, I think that's about right. I, your starting gravity, usually my, st I uh, make meads on the lower end. I think my starting gravity tends to be like 1090. I didn't intend for it to be that high. It's just that all of a sudden I checked and I was like, wow, that's pretty big. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a pretty strong, <clears throat> sweet mead. Do you think it'll? Uh, is there? Do you think it needs to ferment down a little bit drier, or do you think this is going to be it? I mean, right now I should I should have calculated the percent attenuation, but it's I don't know. Yes, I think that there's probably there's there's probably like some gains you'll get. You'll probably maybe get under ten twenty, mm -hmm. but uh, you know I think that uh, if that's I think we're tasting it pretty early on the process. Yes. Yeah. You know, I think that I would say. You, it's like if, a. Um, if we were tasting it like at two months, then I could probably give you a better understanding of like how far you're going to be able to go. All right. But I think that uh, like there's no weird. I, I am definitely tasting the orange blossom honey. Um, it's there. Mm. And that, I think that if you were to brighten it up with a little bit of uh, orange peel, like you said, yeah. that might be a nice little. Uh, you know, counterpoint Do to you think some, um, have you experimented at all with like some acid blend? I have. Um, I think uh, like, I think I did a blackberry lavender mead mm -hmm. and I uh, had a little bit of that just because I wanted to bring out more of the, the uh, acidity of the berries, uh, like bring that out, the brightness of it. But no, I, I think I've used that in ciders, yep. but um, to varying, you know, um, outcomes, I guess. Not really sure. Because, uh, like, I'm also mixing in, like, for cider, I'm, now I'm getting off on a tangent here, but That's I fine. also mix in, like, ta the tannins yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and with an acid blend and such. Yep. So it's kind of like it's hard to figure out, you know, I, I've never done anything in a vacuum or, like, here's a, yep. here's a, here's a, here's, a uh, here's, like, apple, pressed apple juice. Let me just put the acid blend and then compare it to one where I didn't to really yeah. understand the big difference. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could do that, but I, I think that try with something like that'll give you more of a, an orangey citrus, and I think that. Do you think it makes thing. sense to um, maybe just put orange peel on half of it and see how the two the split goes? Well, yeah, or what do you, think? you should try it. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I I go all in. I go all. It, in. So this is a five. I made a five gallon batch of this, right? So I'm just I just wanted to 
run it by you, see what you thought about where it is in stream. The more I sip it, the more I'm like starting to like it. There's like a weird, I don't know. Do you What's get, weird? Do you, you don't think there's anything weird in there? No, because it's mead. <laughs> there, yeah, mead is weird to your palate. Yes, right? I think I, so. I think what is actually going on when you taste mead is something very deep and archaic in your DNA is screaming <laughs> to get out, yes. right? Some some way back in your ancestry. Yes. Your ancestry is coming alive when you drink this, Probably, right? Probably, yes. Yeah. It's, it's looking for a battle axe. It, yeah, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And like a ship with a bunch of people rowing. Yes, that's that's what I... And hopefully you're not a rower. I'm, no. <laughs> not, I want to be the guy in the lately. front. Yeah. I want to be the guy in the front. Yeah, right. So. Got it. Okay, cool. I'm glad you think it's okay. It's, it's coming it's, along. It's not... Well, I think it's early, man. Is it going to clear, clear up? What is, yes. What is going on with yes. that? It's like, you, know, you need time. Is that all the oats I put you in there? Is that a bad news? Was that a wrong move? <laughs> you shouldn't have put oats into your mead. <laughs> That's one. I think what you need to do is wait. You don't have patience. Three to four weeks? We shouldn't be tasting Listen, this now. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I have a YouTube channel, and sometimes I need some content. I need to build content. So it's not, <laughs> no, 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 but no, it's no. fine. No, I just really, I genuinely wanted some feedback uh, because it is five gallons, and honey is not cheap. I know it's not. But cheap. it, but making mead is so easy, and it's a lot of fun to have something totally different that you can present to people. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, I have really enjoyed. We've had a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun with your meads. <laughs> um, that's the, the other heck? channel. Uh, yeah. But it's, uh, but you know, so I just, I just wanted to make something, and you know, I didn't make this year. I didn't make my, what I view as one of my favorite beers, like my orange wheat. Yeah. I didn't make that, but I, I had this craving for the orange, and I had, I had six pounds of orange blossom honey that I've had for a while. Yeah. So I bought more orange blossom honey, and then I topped it off with just a little bit more store bought clover honey. And, and got to this. Well, and there's a lot of combinations you could do with this, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a lot of combinations. You could add, you know, you could split this out into five uh, gallons, mm -hmm. like five yep, one-gallon five batches, yep. and then play around yeah. with each of them. Aside but, from the, my orange peel idea, you know, is there one other, what, what, shoot. what would you do with it? I'm going to push it, right? Shoot. So, what do you think? If you were going to do, a, what's, a, what's a spiced meat call? Is that a, a pie mint? Yes, yes. Wow. I, yes, it's I, like a I Jew. Just, look at that. Yes. So uh, I read, I just don't do. Um, <laughs> what about some cinnamon? Yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. The cinnamon might work well yeah. with this, right? It might be yeah. totally mind-blowingly interesting. Yeah, some cinnamon, yeah. Uh, a little bit of like, not, like you know, your pumpkin spices. I don't think clove would go. No, you know, I, yeah, clove stay away from gets there. out of control pretty fast. Yeah, but I would yeah. say like uh, some pleasant, um, you know, uh, spices would be, uh, would be nice. I wonder if, if I was to go to the... What, if you took well, the one gallon approach, I wonder what like a wit beer spicing approach would be. Like if yeah. I did some orange peel and say coriander. Coriander. I don't know. It might be weird. The coriander might be weird. Um, but it's coriander just, is weird. It is weird. Because <laughs> I know. So on this, I sort of get like a. There's a little bit of like a potpourri thing going on there. Yeah. I think coriander would push it over the edge and make yeah. it seem like. I don't soap, think I'd right? like it. All right. That's just my. Thing. All right. Five gallons of rose petal. I'm just gonna. Packet full of rose petals. You could you could try some other berries, you know. I mean, maybe like a strawberry or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, so the, one of the reasons too is I also I've got more honey. Okay. And I'm gonna I've got some berries, and I'm gonna do another mead. Ooh. It won't be five gallons, but I just wanna I'm sort of in the kick because it's you know the kids go to bed and your wife <laughs> is in bed and you're just like I'm not ready for bed. I'm gonna make a mead, okay. right? Cause you just you just <laughs> you put it in, you get the drill out, you stir I don't it up. Know what you're doing over here, bro? <laughs> The lights go off, everyone's upstairs in bed, and you're just doing weird things. You know downstairs. what we need is we need the Brew Dude's webcam. Just the cam it's up there all the time, you see me in here just, just doing weird stuff with all my Nobody needs to see all that. my gear. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that at all. <laughs> anyway, um Thank well you, you Thank should you for be the feedback. You should be happy about this. Don't fret too much. All right. Again, patience. You need like we should patience. be we should I know that you're like, I wanna taste this on camera, I wanna learn more about it. It's cool, but I think that we could have tasted this like at the two month mark. That would have given you a little bit more of where it was going to finish out. But all indications this to me. The good people at home are going to be seeing a month from now. All indications to me, hopefully, um, it's on its way to being pretty good. Oh, um, I think, what are some, you know, I just had a thought. Like, what about like some root beer type, um, like sarsaparilla or things like that? Think of like roots that you can mm. add to this. Sorry, I'm yeah. getting way off. 
Yeah. But anyway, I'm trying to wrap this up and like. Maybe we need now. We maybe we need to just do half gallons. Ah, oh, jeez. No, 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 no. 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 The pick three and go with that. Okay. The orange peel is happening. Divide by by three. The orange peel is happening. Down. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your attention. Hey, needs something again. Mike's right. It's super simple. You brew beer and you're like, Jesus, a lot of steps. You make some meat and you're like, wow, that's really simple. Well, it's really simple. What am I wasting my time for making beer? And it's fun, you know, to pull out parties and uh, watch people get really drunk. <laughs> really happy. Really happy. <laughs> that, there you go. Happy. And thankful. And thankful. Yes. You know, exactly. So doing unspeakable things. For Don and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Cheers. Brew meat, on. Meat on. Meat on.